everybody. I am so excited about this video. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, I cannot believe it has been a few months since I have posted a video and I've got so many to post. So if I'm doing several before this and you're like, but I just saw a video and you're like, what are you saying? Um, that is a total possibility. Um, I have been very much alive. I've been doing some really fun beading projects. And um, I have just, just been really, really crazy busy. And um, so I have been working on another mini album. And the other day I had, I saw this, and as you saw some of the pictures a while ago, you saw that this was a recycle project. And so I'm just really excited about this one. And I wanted to show it on time. So anyway, check it out. Is this just not cute? I love these tiles. Ah! Love these tiles. And it was all one solid piece. And I needed to keep it intact. Decided not to do anything to the outside. Because I really liked it this way. So, I did nothing to the outside. Um, I did put the handles back on. I used um, some ribbon. I double layered it so that it would have some really good spunk and sturdiness. As you can see inside! Check it out! Ah! I just got it! Ah. So then you open it up. And it is a baby album! Oh, get close there. It is a baby album. Yay! I hope you can see. I hope you can see. I'm out of practice using a video camera, so I hope you can see. Hope you can see. I don't remember this paper pack. I have some leftovers. Um, there's two different, two or three different paper packs in here. I've been hoarding some of it. So I decided this was the perfect paper pack to use. This is cardstock. Um, just pink cardstock. And um, then I had this particular car, uh, paper pack, some leftover from it, where I used on a baby, pack, um, a baby album months and months ago. So I pulled what I had left for this. This is from Big Lots. I do know that much. And it was like a 99 cent thing. Oops, some are trying to peek out this thing. Hello! And then I just stuck some flowers on and some bling. And this is from that same paper pack. And I thought that was just adorable. Then I added some really big, beautiful bling and some beautiful wide lace. This paper pack, I think, is from Australia. And I want to say who gave it to me in a swab, but I can't because I will mess up. I used this on an Easter egg album and where you pulled the, the tags out of the top and the egg had a little jagged cut at the top. It was a really cute mini album. And so I started to pull out the top, but that ain't the way it works. So I got a little Velcro ribbon that you open up, and inside are two tags. Woo-la! Hi! Then you just stick them back to the side. And I used to punch on this. I have two favorite punches if you watch any of my videos from um, Stampin' Up! And um, I just use um, the edge of that punch. It's the, um, uh, it's this shape. I have a whole drawer dedicated to this punch. And I use it for everything. So that's the, that's the corner. That's the corner of it. So, um, and then you just close that back. If I get my tag in there, I will. And then I uh, took a frame and I just put some card stuff in it, add button flowers and a rub on, and then I added a tag underneath it to give a little bit more real estate and a little more fun. The, Pages are a tip board. Uh, a dollar album from um, Michael. I think that was correct. Um, I don't know who made these little things. Oh, this is another uh, piece from this same paper pack. And um, I don't know. I just used some pop-up dust around it. I don't know who made these little metal tags. Um, I'm sorry to say. And then I used some glossy accents. This paper totally popped. I have been hoarding this paper. Also, this little edge is also from that same punch. I just stuck it in and just barely nipped it on the edge because I really thought that gave it a rocking uh, edge to it. And then again, there's my little pull tab. 
I use that punch for hinges, you name it, I use it for everything. And then here again, I made a pocket um, out of an, no, I, I just made it out of this little paper. I said I made it out of an envelope, but I didn't. At least I don't think I did. No, I just made it out of a cardstock. And then I made a pocket on each side. And uh, this paper I got like for three for a dollar, four for a dollar, somewhere. Oh, and this I saw, um, I'm making a cookbook heritage album, scrapbook album. And um, they, I found this um, pocket that said 10 things I like about being in the kitchen. <laughs> I had to recreate it. And so I made this and it said 10, 10 things that I adore about you. And so this is a rub on. And I made these. This is not that good, I think. You can make these. And I just put cardstock on the back so you can put little photos or little notes or whatever. And I just thought that was so cute. Oh, you can just make this for everything. Oh, you can just put, you know, all kinds of things. And now I can't get them back in there. Of course, you know I'm going to have to come back and get it right. Okay, so I just thought that was really, really cute, and it's really, really easy to make your own. Absolutely easy to make your own. So 10 things I adore about you, and I started to put a tag under there, but then I thought, mm, that's going to be too bulky. Oh, also I put ribbon underneath this piece of cardstock, so that, um, or this piece of uh, chipboard, so that I could use it for binding, because I thought it was so much cuter. And you can see on the pictures that I'll show you on when I recycled this purse, um, did I tell you this was a purse? I told you this was a purse, right? I think I told you this was a purse, or you saw it in the photos. And um, I just put the ribbon under it, and I thought that was just really, really cute, cute, cute way to do the pages. And so then this is just a photo page, and just untie it. I so hope I'm on camera. I will have to do this video all over again if I'm not. And just open it up, and you got plenty of places, and I used rub-ons to go around the edges. And then behind it are a, is a place for two tags, and I did the edges again using my punch. And just sticking those in there, and I love these little metal embellishments. And um, this ribbon comes from the bridal department at um, oh, one of the stores, Hobby Lobby, I think. And it's just really great and durable. Now, this page is kind of cute. And I did do this a little bit different. I didn't do the beads on the stick pins, even though I could. And I think this, my friend Mitzi sent me these pins. And you just pop it out. And I put the flower there so that nobody gets stuck with the pin. And then you open it up. And it could be a note from Dad. And the same thing here. I won't go to trouble to open that one. But it's the same thing on the inside. A note from Mom. And the pen just sticks back in, and then I added some bling. Look at this paper! Oh, these are my fun. I love these little tag things. And so you get to see how I use the little, uh, another way I use this punch. Added some metal. This is my other favorite punch from um, Stampin' Up. And you just open it up, and I use this punch for my hinge. You've seen me do that a million times. And um, again, little photo spots, and they can slide uh, more, you know, pictures, whatever, under there. And I just reinforce it with a piece of cardstock underneath. And it's the same thing on the other side. Nothing different. Except it opens the other way. <laughs> and then I've got the final page. And I made a pocket. And this is that punch that I showed you. And I got two tags with plenty of photo spots. And I did a rub on here with a metal tag. Precious baby. And then I added a little bit of bling, a little bit of a... Uh, um, border there. And then I found this in my stash that I thought would be a great photo spot. A metal tag and I curled my brad on the end. You see me do that and add a charm there. I didn't add a charm on this one. And then um, just some flowers and then I just used some pop-up dots and a rub on there. Is this just not absolutely adorable? And it's a purse. It was a purse. And the purse was just really, really dirty. Just really, really um, messy, and I just thought the tiles would be an awesome uh, mini album, and I thought I was going to do it as a girly kind of mini album at first, and I thought, oh, no, this would just be a cute girly album, 
And I thought at first I would use my great niece, and then I don't know. So we'll just see what happens. I'm not sure what pictures are going to be in here, but oh, is it just not the cutest, cutest, cutest thing? Oh, just so cute, 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 cute. So I wanted to show that to you and just show you that you can recycle. And um, I used things from my stash. I did not um, go buy anything. I was inspired by some new things I saw at the store. But I didn't go buy anything new for this album. Um, it was things that I had on hand. And I thought it was just really, really, really cute. And I, it was a really quick creation. And, um, ah, fun! So, let me know what you think. And let me know what you find out there. And don't be afraid to recycle something that you already have into something that's really, really beautiful. So, if you spot something in here that you've given me over the last year or so, Please just drop a note, and I just want to thank you so much, and um, just let, oh, I just want to hear from you. So y'all have a great day and a great week and a wonderful summer. Thank you so much. See you later. Bye.